But in the same sense, like, why does she have to do? Why does she have to do everything? She's only one person. She's only one person. She's only one person. Like, people spend their money on Gucci, on Louis Vuitton, on, like, $20. It's a town. So the way that you donate is by... No, not donate, sorry. The way that you join would be... We're still trying to figure that out. We're actually fairly new, you know? We're fairly new. We're very new. We're still trying to figure out how that's going to work. But... I mean, literally, it's just, it's me and my friends from high school, you know? It's not like I got together with Jaden Smith and Meg Thee Stallion, da 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 That would be different. We would have a lot of money. We'd definitely have way more money. <laughs> but, like, it's my homies from high school at the end of the day, you know? It's not fucking, this is, like, hometown shit. So, you know. I'll definitely let you guys know about how we, you can join. Definitely how you can join. Because we'll definitely, and we'll definitely need volunteers, you know, at the end of the day. <sighs> but anyway. And we're also going to, but I will, I will tell you though, we also want to start some events around like a monthly or, or a bi monthly, what's it called? A bi monthly, like doctor checkups. <laughs> Um, bi-monthly free therapy services, free doctor checkups, um, free lawyer services. We're definitely going to, we have to figure out about the lawyer though. I have to figure that one out, but we're definitely going to, um, start. I mean, for those who've been watching for a minute now, we did the forums, we did the public forums. So we're going to continue that. And we're going to, we want to continue that with a literacy program, which would essentially, we're going to, I mean, I think they were just, we're just people. We're just people. You know, so we're going to do what we can, but we're not God and we're not here to be God. <laughs> That's it. We're not here to be God, but we can help how we can help, you know, and do what we can do and promote healing and promote growth. But, you know, <sighs> we're not here to be God. But with that being said. I definitely do want to encourage empowerment. And so really, I definitely want to inqui not inquire. Um, I definitely want to eventually, when we have the time, and not the time, but once we're stable enough as a group, I definitely want to, how do I say? Like, I want to create resources for people you know i want to create resources i want to create funds i want to create pools of information you know like i want to create for people so that's why we're doing what we can we're doing what we can but you know we're doing what we can Yeah. Are you feeling the season change to autumn? Not yet, actually. <sighs> All right, y'all. Well, just wanted to say that. And also, but thank for those who are donating, thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I definitely really appreciate it. It's all part, this is all part of the healing. I also do make music. You should check my SoundCloud. But sucks a lot of the resources from people okay yes we can talk about how seton hall sucks a lot of the resources um we can also talk about that line like we can talk about that line we can talk about that seton hall line on south orange avenue like we can definitely talk about that you know anyway also i'm not asking anyone who's poor to donate obviously and i don't like the word poor if you're having a hard time I'm not asking you to donate i'm just saying anyone who can but also, yes, my mother is definitely going to donate as well. Like, yes, she is, by the way. Yes, my father is going to donate as well. But it's not on them to do everything. And I'm not going to make them do everything either. That's not fair to them. My mom has given so much. She's given so much of her soul, literally, her soul and energy to the world. And my grandfather, my father, they've given so much to the world. So, come on, like... 
it's not always onto one person to do everything. If we want to see the community grow, we all have to see the community grow. We all have to support the community growing, you know? Like, it can't just be, oh, well, we have one savior. No. And that's why my focus is on empowerment. Because at the end of the day, it it shouldn't be about anyone saving anyone. It should be about us being able to save ourselves. But the reality is, is being Black in America, you know, there's oppression. Literally, there's literal systemic core oppression. And not only that, but... You know, all of this, all of this dysfunctional shit is really a result of that, you know? Like, it's really a result of that. All of this, all of this, especially when you're Black in America. Or just Black, you know, period. Like, you have to understand the way that this, it's been, it's the rape. The rape from every place in the planet. Like, come on. You know, so we really do have to be here for each other and we really do have to support each other because at the end of the day, like, who else do we really have? <laughs> like, who else do we really, really have who is not trying to suck off black people? You know, like you got them imperializing Africa again right now. You know, you had you got China imperializing Africa. You have the Arab slave trade. You know, like you have mass incarceration in, which is, which is slavery in its own right. You know, like who isn't trying to suck off black people? And it sucks that we, I, I won't even say it sucks that we have to fix it ourselves because at the end of the day, you know, we're responsible for ourselves. But um, it does suck. <laughs> it does suck. I've been going, oh my God, I can't wait to get my, guys, I can't wait to get my fucking, um, I don't know what's going on in Zimbabwe though, so you have to tell me, but I don't, I, I, I can't wait to get my DNA test back. I can't wait to get my DNA test back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I'll be like, I am from the tribe of, if you were wondering. And then I'm gonna make a video about that. <laughs> I'm be like, so who sold me, bro? <laughs> so who sold Uncle Kunte? <laughs> who stole Uncle Kunte? Nah, I'm kidding. That's fucked up. <laughs> but for real, like, who? I'm going right back to my country, my nigga. Like, African ancestry, yeah. I'm going right back to my country and I'm popping shit. Like, so what's up? Nah. And I, honestly, this is uncomfortable. This is a very uncomfortable truth, but I was doing research. They'll be all right. I was doing research and I found out that a lot of the slave trade, well, it depends. It depends. It depends. Because I just found out about the Arab slave trade. I just did some research on that. And that was going on for way longer. That was going on for way longer. She's gonna eventually be thrown off like her mother is so sad. Bitch, I'm smarter than you. What are you? Nah, let me not say that. <laughs> let me not say that. I'm not gonna say that. That's fucked up. Hey, Lafia. What's up? Yeah, honestly, tell your mom that they really twisted my words and that my live and my story, what I was discussing, was about healing. And yeah, tell her that. Tell her that, you know, the media twists my words. Tell them don't blame my parents that hard. But um, you see what I'm talking about? She's gonna go off the hinges like her mom. Bitch, what? I bet you listen to doo every day. <laughs> like, stop. Just, uh, I bet you bump lost ones. Like, what? Like, what? Oh my God. Y'all be so quick to come out your mouth. <laughs> like, yo. Jesus Christ, she's gonna go off the hinges. What did I actually say that was off the hinges? I let me actually. I just want to pick your mind for real. For real, like, let me just pick your brain. What did I actually say that was off the hinges? Tell me. Or were you just mad and trolling? Literally. What has my mother ever said that was off the hinges? You mean when she went to the Vatican and told them about how the priests were pedophiles? Oh, 
they weren't doing that at the time so you mean when she went on stage and bore her, like literally bore her whole soul to the world and was honest about what she's been through and was healing like what come on first of all who like nigga, come on come on come on how about you listen to forgive them father i'll give you some songs to listen to okay if you're worried if you think my mom is off the hinges you're wrong <laughs> i'll give you some songs to listen to you should listen to get out you should listen to the conquering lion you should listen to forgive them father you should listen to the miseducation of lauren hill like literally that one song you should listen to final hour You should listen to those songs you should listen to i remember you should listen to adam lives in theory you should listen to mr intentional you should listen to the mystery of iniquity you should listen to sayla you should listen to rebel and then after you listen to it and you go on genius and you look up the lyrics and you read them all come back to me and say it again okay Thank you. Anyway. Now I feel bad. I didn't mean to say I was smarter, but you really did piss me off. I'm sorry. I'm getting my anger under control. That's something I'm working on actively all the time. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, I'm her biggest fan. That's my mother. Like, what? What do you mean? You think I'm like this for no reason? <laughs> like... That's my mother. That's my mother. Mm -mm. You heard that she treats her band like, I'm not gonna really feed into all that. I'm not gonna feed into all that. But I am gonna say that we're not gonna sit here and just, like again, I'm not gonna sit here and bash them with you. So like, y'all feed on that. Like, I don't feel like, me speaking on anything with my parents is gonna do anything for my life except make it worse when it comes to y'all <laughs> because everyone takes the worst thing and they da -da 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 -da, and, doo -doo 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 -doo, and i heard that she 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 so mm -mm. my mother's a human she's not a perfect person <laughs> but I'm not gonna feed off all the negativity. Like, I'm not gonna feed off that, you know? Huh, <sighs> anyway. Damn. Niggas. Yo, that is a racist narrative. It actually is, it's a very ra And you know what I mean? It's such an anti, it's actually anti-black. You, you know, right? It's like an anti-black narrative when you take this in extremely intelligent woman and you diminish her to she's crazy like this extremely intelligent woman she may be angry sometimes like she may be angry but crazy mm. <sighs> Honestly, I'm kind of overwhelmed with all the people in this live. Like, this is not... I'm not used to this shit at all. I don't even know how to talk to all y'all, because I'm like, who, who's... Who's an agent? And who's actually here because they want to be here? Because they actually feel me? And who's just here because they saw me on the shade room and is waiting for more shade room shit? Like, damn, y'all got my hairs on my back standing up. Like, whoa, who's what right now? <sighs> Man. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I know gang. I know gang. I know gang when I see it. The audience is real different. I'm, you feel me, right? I'm like, whoa, what's going on in here? This is not normal. <laughs> mm. But, uh, anywho. Yo, that's crazy. Let me say this. My mother did prepare me for a lot of things. She prepared me for a lot. I didn't realize that she was preparing me for all of this. But now, I just hear her voice in my head. You know, like, all the things that she used to tell me about, like... You know. African Ancestry is a DNA company that I use, though. So... Yeah. I, but let me run it back, though. I really do appreciate... I'm, I'm just happy to hear that... Yeah, that's true. Um, Jersey, gang gang. But, yeah. Hey, Malcolm. What's poppin'? But, um, let me say... Yeah. 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 African ancestry got bought out? I mean, I'll ask them. But, you know. So what did I love about my childhood? <sighs> about my childhood. Let me just say that. Um, I have a huge family. My family's humongous, you know? So, so much love everywhere. So much love. We always went to Bowcraft. We always went to Six Flags. There were always pool parties. I don't know, I think, I mean, the 2000s were crazy. They, they were kind of crazy, but in the same sense, like, it was really fun growing up. I had a lot of family, you know? I had a lot of family. Oh, I got these off the side of the street in New York, so I don't know where I got them from. <laughs> but there were there were a lot of great moments growing up, you know? Like, I have 13 uncles and aunts, so, a lot of cousins you know and not only that but i also have a lot of family on my father's side as well so i just have a, a crazy crazy hard large family and it was nice it was nice oh that's it was nice like i mean besides you know the trauma aspects <laughs> 13 on both sides 26 Thank you for donating, guys. I do appreciate that. We're definitely trying to have it up and going in the next two weeks, hopefully. And just so you know, my mother is actually going to give, like, a really, really great donation. So I'm happy for that. Her MLH Foundation, she collects a lot of money. Not a lot of money, but, you know, when she goes on tour, she has a whole sect of money that simply goes to charities. So luckily, she'll help. So... There's a lot of trauma. I mean, when y'all are ready to talk about it, you know I'm right here. And also, can we talk about solutions? Actually, let's talk about, can we talk about this real quick? Okay. So, my dad wasn't as, he didn't wake up in bed with us. Let's just call it that. He wasn't waking up in bed with us all the time. And, you know, actually, my mom, like I said, she's been doing, she's doing way better, you know? She's doing way better. Like, in the past 10 years, she's healed so much. I've just watched her change. I've watched her become a different person. You know, I've watched her evolve. And also, same thing with my father, because, like, I mean, he did some bullshit recently. But what made me now want to, oh, I hate when you guys ask me stupid questions. Look, anyway, my father, you know, he's healing as well. And now... And this is not new, you know, like, and so the way that you guys are talking about how this resonates with you, for me, right, the way I got affected, it gave me a lot of anger issues. It gave me a lot of anger issues, um, a lot of anger issues, one, and two, attachment issues, definitely attachment issues, definitely abandonment issues when it came to just romantic relationships even friendships to some degree honestly even friendships to some degree you know i mean like and the other half of it is that 
the other half of it is that I didn't really grow up with all the celebrity kids. You know what I mean? I didn't grow up with all the celebrity kids, you know? So it was already a different experience just growing up in my hometown because I'm just like, everyone's like, well, the, the elephant in the room is that you're Lauren Hill's daughter. Like, you know, and it was just always that. Luckily, most people got over it over time. But in the same sense, like, it's been it's not been easy you know it's not been easy so i definitely do want to talk about solutions i definitely do want to talk about solutions solutions for healing anger solutions for just healing period you know because i mean i know what i said Am I doing this subconsciously for my father's attention? Actually, I wasn't even really gonna go on live today. Really, I came on because I saw how the media could misconstrue what I said. So I was like, you know what? I'm not about to let them, you know, talk about my father and my mother like that. Like, or I'm not about to let them just create this one dimensional narrative. Cause that's what it was. It was one dimensional. It was a very one dimensional narrative and I wasn't comfortable with that. So, yeah but what i will say is that there are definitely many times and many things that i've done in in an effort for attention you know for male attention i was talking about that yesterday like i was talking about how i feel like i was subconsciously very promiscuous you know oh borderline i definitely i have thought about that like different things but i think one of the ways to get attention I was, it, you look for attention wherever you can get it, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't even say this, honestly, I actually just like expressing myself, you know, or maybe this came out of that, you know? So, but I think that a lot of the times I go on live, when I go on live, I, normally when I go on live, right, I always have a question. And I think that a lot of times, the people in my immediate circle, I'm like, all right, I need to, I need a, I need like a third perspective. And so I, to be honest, I really just like asking y'all questions. <laughs> like that's the thing. Like I really just like asking y'all questions. So I like talking to y'all. <laughs> you have to understand, like, I feel like sometimes people take Instagram and make it just like a, uh, how do I say? Arbitrary. Arbitrary. But, you know, like, you guys are actually all individually real people with real thoughts and real opinions and real feelings and memories and experiences. So it's nice to talk to other people and just be like, hey, what do you guys think about this? Like, hey, this is how I'm feeling about this. Hey, did you guys know this? You know? And so I like talking about it. How do I deal with me and my mom disagreeing on something that's important to me? <sighs> We're still working on that. <laughs> We're still working on that, but um, it depends on what it is. I guess, yeah, you do have to be careful. And I learned that really quickly yesterday. Like, you do have to be careful what you give the world. But I will say that. Me and my mother, I mean, me and my mother are very close. She's actually texting me as we speak. <laughs> like, I was at her, I, I was actually with her today. So, my mother and I are definitely very close. And also, anger is a, oh, tell Riz I said thank you. Anger is a, tends to be a secondary emotion. A lot of the time, anger is a secondary emotion. For, you're right, anger is a secondary emotion for sadness. And I think for me growing up, remember, I grew up with all brothers. Um, okay. I grew up with, oh, one second, one second. I grew up with all brothers. I really grew up with all brothers. So I'm like, like, we're fighting. <laughs> we were fighting. So I just learned how to be tough. I was tough, you know, like I was always very tough. And you know, like when your parents discipline you, fix your face. So it's always very, 
<laughs> you know, that's what it was. Like, so now coming back, like, have, like I'm learning how to cry again. You know, like I'm learning how to cry. That, yo, it was the other day. I was like, yo, Sela, you can cry. Like, Sela, crying does not make you weak, you know? Um, and I think when you're growing up with all boys, I, I thought I was one of them, and to some degree I am. But I was always one of the boys, you know, so I rough house with them, I this, I that. So it was always very, like, tough. Just a tough, you know? We're just tough, and also we're Jamaican. Hold on, I gotta charge my phone real quick. And learning how to forgive is a big one. I would definitely say that. Learning how to forgive, learning how to love, learning learning how to not be angry, you know, like learning. And what I'm even learning now is how, hold on, I'm sorry. What I'm even learning now is how, how many walls I put up, you know? Ooh, sorry. Ooh, what is this? What is this light? Is this what we're going to do? I look like a ghost. All right, whatever. <laughs> like, what is going on? This is hideous. Guys, I can't even focus right now. Oh, let me just do this. Okay. There we go. I, that was just too much. I couldn't even process that. Also, anger is not a negative emotion. Anger, okay, it technically, like, literally is negative. But anger is, um... You're allowed to feel angry. Like, sometimes things are actually done wrong. Things are done wrong, you know? And... Hold up. Okay. Um, all right. Let me recenter, because that was a lot going on. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot. Um, but yeah, let's let's use this to talk about just the healing, you know? Like, anger... I, I'm learning... How to process anger right now because i'm like yo well, you can't lash out you know because it's either i shut down completely or i lash out whether it's like through screaming or through just like getting in your face or whatever you know getting being intimidating or aggressive and i'm just like all right i need to process this and I think that the thing is with anger, I think anger can be an ego emotion sometimes. I think anger can, it's a defense emotion, you know, like it can be a little bit of an ego emotion because when you're angry, it can also become a little sadistic in here. And then you start justifying why people deserve your wrath. You know, you start justifying why people why they're wrong and what they did to you and da 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 like it can be really hard and it it can be a little sadistic it can become sadistic so you have to watch out for anger because it becomes wrath and wrath is a sin wrath is a sin actually seven deadly seven deadly but really a lot of times anger can be fear anger can be sadness you know anger a lot of times it's really sadness it's 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 pain a lot of the time it's pain it's not knowing how to process pain you know like yeah i think anger a lot of the time is not knowing how to process pain because i think people sometimes want things okay yeah i agree with that wanting things instantly instant gratification um doubt you know but definitely pain might be not it might be not knowing how to process pain because I did buy a candle. <laughs> because um, wh what do you do when you're angry? You want to destroy things. You just want to destroy everything. And some things really do need to come down. Some things do need to come down. But one thing my mom said.